Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, subscribe, hit that like button, give a thumbs up, hit me up in the comment box. So I have Blippi today. This is um, going to be bell bottom. So you have two bells, um, one bell here, one bell here. It should look like that with the hole. And then I have my two pants. Um, it's really four pieces. This is the front, this is the back. I wrote front on the front side, back on the back side. I used my water soluble um, ink pen. It's also good for embroidery and when you're doing graphing. I also have an embroidery machine as well. So it's the washable, you don't have to worry about it. It is fine, it will wash off. So um, you move your your two bells to the side and then what you don't want to do is mix your front and your back together so you're gonna do your front side and your back side right sides touching um you will keep keep it right right sides touching and you will do the same with this one Make sure it's even and lined up as well as the back side. Just always line it up, even it out. Make sure both right sides are touching. So right side, right side, well, left side, right side. But always even it up, uh, line it up together and you wanna gonna sew from here all the way to here, and from here all the way to here. So from here, this is the crotch, the crotch. You're gonna sew all the way down. Um, and I'll sew that and come back and show you guys how it looks. All right, I'm back. So it should look just like this. This is the back and this is the front. And then you want to go into sew right sides touching. So your back piece go on top and your front piece go on the bottom. And you're going to put it together. And you always want to make sure that you match up the crotch. And you're gonna sew right sides touching, so down and down. And then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, so we sewed down the sides, and then you're gonna wanna sew straight across. So you're gonna wanna sew from here all the way to here. Make sure the crotch is lined up even. I have my pins going all the way across. And you're gonna wanna sew from here all the way to here, from here to here. And I'll be back and show you guys how it looks. All right, so I just finished sewing from here to here, got it all stitched out. And remember, this is my back. I wrote BK on there, and this is my front. And you should have a big hole. And so you're gonna flip it inside out. This is the back side and the front side. Should look just like this. Sorry, y'all. And what you wanna gonna what you want to do now is to sew on the bells. It's gonna go just like this. So you're going to take this and put it here. You're going to take your bell, turn it inside out, have this going inside of the hole, just like this. And what I do is I match up the sides. 
So you're gonna match up the sides going all the way around, just like that, if you can see it. This is the bottom of the pants, this is the bell. You're just gonna match it all the way around. And you're gonna take pins, little pins, and just uh, pin it in place all the way around until you finish and you're gonna stitch it out and it should look just like that. So anyway, um, just make sure you line it all up together, um, even it all around with your pins. Sorry, y'all. This cotton spandex is a very nice fabric because it stretches and it's very soft for your infant or your toddler or your preschooler. So I would recommend purchasing this kind of fabric. Um, Make sure you line it all up together with your pins. And just go all the way around till you get to the end part with matching it. This should be the last little pin. I think I'm gonna do one more though, just to hold it in while I stitch it. So I'm gonna put one more here. And fix this one, cause it's not the right way. All right, so it should look exactly like this. This is your bell. Here, and this is your pants and you're gonna stitch um, the bell all all the way around and um, yeah I'm gonna stitch it all the way around stitch it all the way around where your pins are and then I'll do that and show you guys what it looks like so I have my um, machine here it's a brother machine, sewing machine. And I have my, um, if you can already see it, it's already stitched right here. It's stitched right here. And you're gonna go all the way around. So I just laid the, the pants on, on the bottom of the machine and my bell bottom is laying on top. And you just stitch um, all the way around until you get finished and if you don't really pull your, your material you just kind of hold it in place and make sure it's still matching up lining up together your, um, your fabric Hold it and turn it so you can get all of your, your uh, fabric. Okay. And what I like to do is um, go on it, uh, stitch around it, well, sew, um, sew it twice. So this will be my second round. across my bell. If you guys can hear me because the machine is loud. Just want to make sure. 
make sure it's flat on the cross. Keep it nice and flat. Nice and flat. Just like that. Keep going all the way around. I'm stopping because I have to kind of uh, turn my um, pants around as, as I stitch my bell bottom. And I double stitch it at the bell because I want it to uh, be real nice and tight. I want it to be real nice and tight as I stitch uh, my band, my bell, my bells on. So I'm coming to the end, and there we go. I will show you guys how it look, and that is one leg. Um, got my bell on, so I'm gonna do this one and show you guys how it look. So it should look just like that. Real nice and pretty. And I will stitch the bottom um, when I'm done putting on this bell. So. I will get this one put on and come back and show you guys the finished touch. So this is the finished touch. You have your two bells, full and nice, and um, your pants, all right? And like I mentioned um, in, in the video when I first started is you will want to stitch the bottom part just so when you wash it, you know, your fabric won't be unraveling. But I went on to stitch um, the bottom part on this, and you can tell the difference on how it looks versus this one, but I'll do that later. And then what you wanna do is your elastic. Um, I kinda fold it like this and stitch going all the way around um, the top, so I gotta get my elastic out. Once I get that out, I will come back and show you um, how to do that. All right, so this is what your um, bell should look like and your pants, okay? So I'll be right back. Okay, so the elastic, um, you wanna leave maybe an inch and a half, depending on the waistband. Uh, my waistband is kinda thick. So, you know, you have the thick ones and then you have the skinny ones. So, um, I'm going to sew the top part and I have the pins in place because that's how, how wide my elastic is. So, the top part and then you're going to want to leave a little bit of opening about that much. Um, and sew the bottom part around, but don't close it off because you're going to safety pin your elastic through the bottom part. So about that much off when you sew the bottom part, leave that open and then take your safety pin and stick your elastic all the way through um, the bottom part and then sew that closing part off. So I'm gonna sew the top part for now and then stitch the bottom, sew the bottom part out, but leave that opening for your safety pin and your elastic to go through. And then once you get it through that little opening, you're gonna wanna uh, sew the closure part off. So I'm gonna do that and I'll be back. So this is the finish uh, ruffle part and it stretches really good. Um, this is the back, this is the front and you can uh, 
you know, just wipe that off. It'll come straight off. And you can comment, tell me what you guys think. This is my finished touch. And yeah, so give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I will be working on this material for mermaid pants. Um, and I hope you guys be safe. Thank you for watching my video. Subscribe and comment, and I hope you have a good day.